Hi there guys and welcome back to another episode of Janners on Tour. It is the 19th of March 2022 and today is a very special edition of Janners on Tour. It's great to be back. I've missed the last few games um, due to work etc. But Rich done a fantastic job on the blog. So uh, getting all the goals and got three wins in there, three home wins. But today I am back for a match day hospitality vlog. So today we are celebrating uh, my 30th and uh, my friend John's 30th, all the way back in December, um, but the game that we were going to was uh, postponed. So we're going today for hospitality and actually I'll be there again with my dad on Tuesday for hospitality. So two vlogs in a row over the next few days in the hospitality lounge. So Accrington Stanley today, mid-table in League One. However, a bit of a bogey team. We don't really beat them much. We only beat them once at Home Park uh, and that was a Reuben Reed volley uh, quite a few years ago. Um, obviously beat them 4-1 away from home, so hopefully we can replicate something like that. But obviously, four games unbeaten, no goals conceded, especially that result at Bolton last week. What an absolute result. Hopefully we can continue um, the form and keep on winning because, you know, we're in a, such a great position in the playoffs at the moment. If we can just keep going, get a good win today, three points, and then another three points on Tuesday, we will be absolutely in a great position going into the final month of the season. It's not going to be easy. Accrington, although they're mid-table... You know, they're not going to be on the beach yet. They're going to want to be playing and their manager knows Shuey very well. He's going to want to get a result against us today. So it's going to be a tough one, but I'm going for a, a win for Argyle today. I think we're going to just edge it, maybe 2-1. Okay, Rich has gone for a 2-0 win as well. Um, so hopefully we can uh, we can get the job done. So guys, I'm going to be going out to the hospitality lounge now for a nice three-course meal. Hopefully meet some players, um, see the man on the match with the ward, sit in the nice posh seats. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. So guys, I'll see you at home park for a big game. Hopefully a big crowd, good atmosphere. Let's get another three points. Come on, you greens. Let's have it. <laughs> on the way into the hospital, match day hospitality with the scone back on the vlog and the boys. Come you greens, posh nosh. <laughs> I'd only arrived the previous day, so I, you know, in the space of a couple of hours, I went from jet lag to stress to wildly optimistic to exuberant, exhilarated. It's, it's not a healthy cocktail, but it, it was fantastic. One of the best nights I can remember at Hope Park. Are you here for Tuesday's game as well as today's, next Tuesday's? Yeah, I'm here at uh, Portsmouth through uh, the Argyle women at Ipswich. So really, I'm going up uh, on Friday to Ipswich after coming here for Cheltenham. And then after the first team game against Ipswich, some of us are staying on to see the women play Ipswich. So if anybody's thinking about going to Ipswich, um, they will be making a special tribute to Paul Mariner, so I didn't want to miss that. No, no. And I understand Paul's photo is going to be on the front of the programme and what have you, so it's... Uh... Sounds great. I'm not sure of the details, but I do know they're planning on a tribute, so it'd be great to have as many Argyle fans there as possible. Yeah, well, I'm sure there'll be a few up there, because the away support, you've touched on it, it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know, Argyle's away support is legendary. And uh, you know, that's, uh, I thank anybody who's uh, regular at away games for continuing to support the team. They really appreciate it. Know that. Well, I'm going to throw a question in here. You said I can ask you anything. Uh, I'm taking, I don't think I'm taking my life in my hands here. But the, uh, the transition from Stephen Tunemaker to from assistant to manager, seamless, wasn't it? What a masterstroke. Uh, yeah, completely seamless. Um, you know, we found out on a Monday, I'm going to get my times confused because I was in Pennsylvania, but we found out on a Monday that, you know, Ryan was leaving. Uh, we found out that he wanted to take Shui with him. We offered Shui the job immediately, and by that evening, Shui had kind of done what he thought he needed to do and accepted it. And, you know, you can see from what's been going on that it's completely seamless. Yeah. And, you know, they, again, I can't emphasise enough, you know, over the last few years, you know, starting with James and now under me, and particularly under Andrew Parkinson, we are a very, very process-oriented club. You know, we put processes in place to try to guard against any eventualities. So, you know, we 
formally had a board meeting to approve the appointment of Shui, but everybody knew what was going to happen. So it was very, very easy. And I think uh, Shui's demonstrated already that he's not just got the football brain, uh, but he's got the personal skills to be a successful manager. I, I, you know, Shui's obviously one of the youngest managers in the league, but I think he's already one of the best, and we're going to have to think about how to keep him as well. Well, I'm going to say, that's a problem for the uh, future, obviously. Uh, you want me to listen? Uh, Michael Cooper in goal number one. Hooray! Uh, back three, uh, James Wilson number five, James Bolton number two, and Macaulay Gillespie number three. Uh, in midfield, Jordan Houghton number four, Panucci Kamara, 28, hey. Mayer, number 10, Joe Edwards, captain, and on the right hand side, number 8, Connor Grant, back in, left hand side, number 15, uh, and up front, Ryan Hardy, number 9, with Jordan Garrick, hey. 14, which means the bench today is as follows Callum Burton, 25, Niall Ennis, 11. Luke Jeffcott 31, Adam Randall 20, Ryan Broom 7, Stephen Sessignon 17, and Critchlow Noble 33. Enjoy your food, enjoy the afternoon, enjoy hopefully another three points. Thank you.
Hello guys, it's half time, it's Plymouth Argyle 2, Akron to Stanley Nil. We're with the main man, Richard Francis, <laughs> right. he's up in the grandstand. I think so far, Rich, we've outplayed them, haven't we? We outplayed them, yeah, but not just Italian, where are we up to team? I mean, they hit the crossbar, first chance of the game, they've got a very physical team. Very physical. That was a bit of a scare, but after that, Pixie Kamara's first goal in front of the fans. You were, say it, you were saying it before, <laughs> weren't you? Uh, I'll be waiting to see him to in person, yeah. and then I'll for the, for the Bartley friendly, yeah. yeah. And then a good finish from Edwards to make it 2-0. Yeah, but it seemed like, at the moment, it, there's no movement to the map. No. I've not seen the... It's been a bit of a scrappy one, but to be 2-0 up at half-time, you'll take that all day, what won't you? Needed, we yeah. should see this through now. Over here, we don't feel full out the wonder last night. I see, yeah. I think we've you know we've taken our chances when they've come and um, so far so good really. Yeah. We've been enjoying the match day hospitality <laughs> inside, it's pretty good. You gotta get them there one day, man. Yeah, definitely one day. Where are you sitting out here? Yeah, just down there, somewhere oh, down there, down yeah. Here. It's been a good view. We've got the main man Sconey as well, first game for a while. What have you yeah. made of it? It's been really good so far. Yeah. Small goal, fully in control, yeah, great goals. Yeah, I don't think I can just stand here up for much really. No, so. not really. Yeah. They're not really a good more. They're not really a football inside that could just stand me really they're very physical but yeah. yeah I'm just saying now this man he's done a great job on the vlogs <laughs> yeah. recently he got all the goals so uh, he's going to be back for the Oxford game in, the, um, in a couple of weeks time yeah. Yeah. yeah but so far so good so far we do what we have to do I know that oh, well, we'll be something on way up well yo. that's it yeah hopefully yeah we're up to fourth at the moment last time Ooh. I looked yeah. yeah so we're doing good Shouting them on Tuesday night as well so so far so good I'm going to go for a 4 nil win today now I would love for an easy thing yeah. We, it, I think it's about time we ha really hammered someone, and I think these guys are here for the taking. So. And that, and that not either very football, I mean, they're here to bully us. Yeah, that's it. But tune up, I don't think you can argue that half time. Nah. So come on, then, boys, let's get the win. Second half. Come on, you boys. Come on, us. Come on. Third goal, but there's just been a red card. Ha ha! <laughs> cheerio, 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 Gillespie, go on, Grant. Take the pegs out! Go on, Danny!
on, Bruni. Oh. Oh. Get in there! Full time, Plymouth Argyle 4, Accrets of Stanley now. We are on the march. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm doing really well at the moment. I'm loving it. It's nice to get to get to it. What's it like to be captain of this bunch of boys? They are something special, aren't they? Yeah, it's the best. And it's not just this bunch of boys. To be captain of this club is something special for me. And something that, yeah, it's something that I cherish every day. And I just hope I put the performance in it. And the effort I show backs it up, really. Because like I said, I love it. And it's just a... Six, right? uh, six, six. That's five games, five wins, five clean sheets, <laughs> 71 points. Skipping through the 60s, didn't we? I mean, blinking, you missed it. Uh, and you guys, I know the old saying is one game at a time. Are you guys counting the games off? No, well, we we knew March was our was our big month. Um, we looked at it before, before obviously, before we looked at the schedule and like, we knew it was a chance to pick up some points. We've been travelling away from Boxing Day onwards, almost it felt like we were away for, for two months almost. So we knew that March was massive, we had five out of six home games and we wanted to make the most of it and, and thankfully we've gone on a, on a great run and like I said, it's something we can all be proud of but it's just uh, hopefully the start of a, a, a great journey. I thought you were there. <laughs> Blustering conditions to, today, we dare not say a scrappy start, and yet we found ourselves 2 0 up. Yeah, it was, and I felt all game we weren't we weren't great to be honest. Um, it's probably the worst we played in this run. Um, we weren't disappointed coming off, because obviously one four 0 but um, in terms of the performance, we know we've got to be better going forward against different opposition. But the wind was tough, the pitch was dry, and it was, it was hard to get going. But like I said, when you give yourself a two goal, it's, it's always nice to have fun. So now the results are most important thing we keep going. Because we are now into what the professionals call the business end of the season, all about the three points. Yeah, it's the fun end, isn't it? It's what you want to be involved in. Um, we don't want it any other way. Uh, we want, like I said, we want a great run. We keep this confidence going. Keep, keep going. And I said, never know where it can take us. And I guess fatigue doesn't come into it when you keep on winning. No, just chatting on the way up there. Saturday, Tuesday for three weeks in a row, and it, it, you know, we get the energy. Um, I think when you're winning and playing well, then you just want to keep playing. I said, I can't wait for Tuesday already. Um, it, it's great to be a part of when, when you're like this. And I said, we're back in, in front of the fans and. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of an insight into today's
Hello guys, welcome back. We just got out of the hospitality, just left. What an absolutely fantastic day. Plymouth Argyle 4, Accrington Stanley nil. Amazing result. Joe Edwards got man of the match. Absolutely outstanding. Five wins in a row, no goals conceded. Apparently someone just told me it's the first time since 1958 that we have uh, won five in a row without conceding. If we do the same on um, Tuesday and make it six in a row without conceding, it'll be the first time in our history. So absolutely buzzing, fantastic day to celebrate the 30th. What an awesome day. So we now move on to Cheltenham Town on Tuesday night. I will be back again for hospitality, so we will be vlogging it for that one. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in today to the vlog. Um, what a fantastic result, as I've already said. We push on, we're up to a fourth in the league now. The results went our way, so we keep on going and hopefully we can get another win on Tuesday night and make it six in a row. Come on, you greens. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe to Janna's On Tour. Come on, you greens.